digital romance TV. Hey, it's Joe Moyer, founder and creator of GPSforlove.com. I got another question for you. Are you ready? Well, this question is, if you were to look at your love life as an observer, would you see that you have a habit of giving, 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 and giving, but you still don't get your needs met in return? Well, if so, you're going to love this video. Last night, I was watching an interview between Oprah Winfrey and Pharrell Williams, who co-wrote the song with Robin Thicke that was the biggest blockbuster hit last summer. And that's that song that goes, you're a good girl, you know you want it, you know you want it. Now, as you see, you know I can't sing Work the Damn, and I'll be the first to admit it, but I just wanted to bring that up so you can actually hear the lyrics to that song, because there was a lot of controversy around that song. And last night, Pharrell Williams was giving his take, and he was talking about how the title of the song is called Blurred, Blurred Lines. And the reason he called that is because he feels that a lot of women have these lines that are very blurry. They're not clear. They're not concise. They don't know how awesome they are and that they don't know that they're allowed to have fun. They can have some sexual freedom. And that's really what the song is about, is that you're a good girl. You know you want it. You know you want to do some of those nasty, freaky things. And it's okay to do that as long as you're operating from your power. So I wanted to create this video today because it kind of, you know, struck up some things in my mind because I'm always looking on, you know, what can help the members of our community? And one of the things I see all the time is that there's this perception of how you're supposed to be. And that perception is based on society, religion, your parents, your neighbors, your grandparents, you know, whatever it may be. And yet you live according to that. And it's simply not living your truth. And part of living your truth is about being clear on who you are and having clear concise boundaries on what you will and will not will and will not tolerate and that's kind of what the song pertains to is you know having don't have those blurred lines have clear lines that work for you and nobody no man gets to define that other than you so i'm going to give you a little homework assignment okay you know because i'm all about action because action is where results come from you can think you can know things but unless you put in action the results aren't going to happen. So what I want you to do is take some mirror time and really take some time to take a look at your love life, you know, especially those past relationships you've had and the way you approach things and see where are your lines blurry? Where are your boundaries not clear and not concise? Because I promise you, if you start making those lines much clearer, you know, those lines in the sand much more clear, much more concise, and your lines are straightforward, that you know what they are, you're going to see how life, especially your love life, has become much easier. Doesn't mean that there's not going to be games, there's not going to be drama, there's always going to be tons of that. But you don't simply go down those paths because you realize this isn't what I'm looking for. And I'll give you a perfect example. There was a time in my life where my lines were all over the place. And I also decided, you know, there was one thing that I was going for. It was a great relationship or no relationship. And so I got crystal clear on what my lines in the sand were, what my boundaries were. And so as I started dating, I simply started interviewing people to see, was this even the kind of person I even wanted to get to know better? Or if I was dating someone, you know, I saw that there were red flags, which normally I would ignore. I no longer ignored them, that I honored them. And I simply got on and moved on real quick. Kind of like the roadrunner, beep, beep, shh, cloud of smoke, and I'm out of there. Because I realized that it was never going to lead to the relationship that I really wanted. And part of that is, part of the reasons we don't honor those lines is because there's a fear. We're fear, well, maybe we might not find somebody. Maybe we might not find somebody better. Maybe we might not find somebody that we have this great chemistry with, even though they're a complete jerk. You know, they're really fun and they make us laugh and they, you know, have, there's great sex, but they don't lead to the relationship that we really want. And so I'm here to tell you, it's the reason why I created gpsforlove.com, is you can have it all. You can have a great relationship with a guy where you have great chemistry even if you haven't had it up until now, but you've got to shore up those lines. Now, again, I know I threw a lot at you, but I want to hear from you. You know, these videos are created for you to help you, but unless you give us your feedback, we can't do that. As always, it's an honor and privilege to be with you. We'll see you next time. Much love. Did you know there's a three-step formula to make a guy fall desperately in love with you? Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH to learn a simple method any woman can use to capture a man's heart and make him love you forever. Again, that link is digitalromance.tv forward slash CHH.